Just back from Nigeria, yeah? Oh, yeah, man. Loving the weather? Dude, <laughs> honestly, I didn't want to come back, honestly. You know, I was wearing flip-flops, I was wearing my knickers, my slippers, you know, knickers? doing pop Knickers? Oh, yeah, yeah. What's that? Knickers. Like the shot knickers? Doesn't know what that is? Like shots? No. Oh, my goodness. That's Women wear knickers. <laughs> What's going on? That's what we give us too much information what, that's here, what man. We, that's what we call it in Nigeria, okay? Is that that's what we call it in Nigeria. Yeah, that's what we call it in Nigeria. Right, you you call it shots here, we call it knickers in Nigeria. Okay, I'll let you off, man. Bloody <laughs> hell, I ain't heard that before, man. <laughs> hey, it was really good. I mean, I'm back. Where are you from? Um, you from Nigeria? Yeah. They call it knickers over yeah, there. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying to you. No, I'll give you a chart. All right, I'll give you a blind. Right. What did you make of it today? Great performance. My goodness. I think great is an understatement. Honestly, great is an understatement. I think today's game was a definition of passion, hunger, desire, intensity. That was what won the game for us today. Every single player in this team today were up for the fight. They were playing like wounded lions. They were playing like people that got hot somehow. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the West Ham game got them pissed off. And then when Emery went, and they're like, you know what? You guys need to put in the performance. And they did it today. Now, if you look at indiv some individual players, let's start from the defense. Yeah, let's start with Socrates. Socrates today was like a marshal, he was like a conductor. He was like someone that was speaking to every single player in that team. There was a point that I, I actually saw him talking to Iwobi. Iwobi was far, it was like telling Iwobi, turn so that the keeper will actually give you a cross. And that's exactly what Leno did. I saw a time that he went for a tackle and he, he, you know, he put his thumbs up like you know, he's won a goal or something. I was like, that is a very, very wonderful player in that squad. Now, let's move over to Koshalin. Koshalin today was like a silent iron. He was doing his job. For me, he was the best player on the pitch. Do you know why? He played very stainless football. Stainless interceptions, stainless tackles, headers. And if you look at the goal he actually scored, he had an attempt before then with a header. Yeah. And then he scored another one. And all those things was all down to the fact that he was really focused. And guess what? I actually saw some little discomfort in his leg. It seems like he is not yet there yet because of the Achilles injury he had. What's going on down behind? Sorry, your knickers down. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't touch my knickers, guys. <laughs> right. So let's just. Sorry. Yeah. So um. So for me, those two players really, really stand they out. They've got players. to do yeah. this every week, though. You've, you've heard the point that's been made yeah. by a lot of people yeah. that they show today that they yeah. can defend very yeah. well. Yeah. You know, I, I thought that, you know, Chelsea, they moved the ball very quickly. You could see what they were trying to do. They were yeah. trying to create openings, but we we stuck to yeah. it resolutely. Yeah. We've got to keep doing that every week yeah. because, you know, we, all, we know we score goals. Yeah. We've got players that score goals, but it's keeping those clean sheets. Yeah, I mean, just to buttress what you've just said, I think I looked at the stats sometime over the week, and at this point last season, we considered less number of goals on us in Wenger compared to how many goals we've considered under Una Emre. But we've scored more goals this season than we considered than we scored when we were under us in Wenger. So that really shows that our defense is really lacking. For me, the defense is all down to the fact that our defense is not very stable. Why? Because of injuries. Since holding went, we've been leaking goals. And then there were some matches that we played less China, Koshalin and you know Moria, all those guys they were just coming back from injuries. So for me, I think the fact that we're considering goals is simply down to the you know the fact that we are having defensive instability. We don't have you know that constant people in the defense you know week in week and that's the major problem we have. If you go to the attack today like as that's goal, I have to talk about that. For me, that goal was down to his first touch. That first touch was like a magnet. The way he got the ball, the way he put it under control, the way he put his left leg past two players and took that shot, that was absolutely wonderful. And I had this argument with you. I don't know why he got substituted, but you were trying to explain to me, you know, that's I think he got substituted because, you know, you can just leave a Bamiyang up front on his own yeah. and it's his pace. Yeah, you can hit them long balls and he, he, he gets onto them. Yeah, the reason I was a bit, maybe I have a soft spot for him because I feel it's, un, it's, it's unfair. Every single time he knows he's always going to go off the pitch before Ogbama Young, and that's a bit unfair. I think maybe he should switch it over sometimes and just leave like I said to make him happy because those kind of things can actually, you know, bring a player's confidence down. But you know what, yeah, I'm happy we got the win 2 0. Can we make the top four this season? I said that before we can make the top four. For me, I think um, Tottenham, um, Chelsea, um, Manchester United um, and, and us, we have a chance. It's between the four of us, as far as I'm concerned, for that top four position. And I think we have a great chance. There's nothing that's going to stop us from winning, um, from getting the top four, except we falter. Or except we have to get that defence back the way it is today. If we continue like that on a constant level, there's nothing that's going to stop us in getting top four. Thank you very much.